now here it says it has found eight clashes now I need to see where all these geometries are clashing I can go quickly to the results tab and I'll see some clashes listed here I can go select any of these clashes and it will show me a viewpoint for the clash in the right side of the window so all of these clashes can be viewed here you can see this pipe is going through a circular duct some of these clashes we notice that this pipe is actually too close to the duct and it's been shown as a clash let me see the distance here now this is 0 0.0051 meters what that means is this is 5 mm so probably this might not be a relevant clash for me what I can do is I can go back and tell Navis Works to have a tolerance that is greater than 8 mm and now I run the test again and I see that now it's restricted itself to just five clashes which would be reported here you can see that the clash we saw earlier has not been reported now apart from the tolerance we can also set some rules in Nevisworks which we can use to ignore certain sets of irrelevant clashes once I have set up all the rules and the selection sets for my clashes I can give this a name I'll say it's clash test between pipes and ducts similarly I can go and select let's say I want another test between pipes and beams and I can run the test and I can add it here so you see there's another test that's been added here and I can say it's pipes and beams so I can have an entire list of clash tests which I can run together in a batch now let us see how these clashes are reported by Navis Works. We can go to the report tab here. It gives me an option to write a report in the desired format. I'll say I want a text file generated and I can write this text file to the desired folder location. I want to have it in the same folder where I have all the Navis Works files, also the Revit model. I'm debating a bit here but there's one interesting thing I'd like to share if you notice the Revit model here was 22 MBs in size the Navisworks NWC file that I exported from this model is considerably less in size it's just 627 KB and the best part the demo.nwf file on which we are running our clash tests is a mere 7 KB in size so Navis works actually works on a very compressed format which makes it very easy to navigate the models compared to the navigation that would have taken place in the originating software that's Revit in this case so this is one very good thing about the models once they are imported into Navis works they can be easily navigated at the same time it's a compressed format but don't forget it brings with it all the properties and information with it which we can use which we actually have used to set up clash tests so let's get back to where we were that is clash reports let's write this report to the same folder 
technical handout pipes and ducts dot txt and I save it let's go to this folder I have this text file here pipes and ducts at the same time if you notice I have some JPEGs five of them which were not there earlier so when I write this report in text format it also generates the JPEGs which are nothing but the viewpoints of the relevant clashes that have been detected now let's have a look at what the text file looks like if you notice here it has the information about the clashes the items that are clashing right but it's not a very handy format it's not very easily comprehensible so it's a better option that I compile a clash report in word format with the JPEGs of clashes and some text added onto it after navigating the model I can know where exactly this clash is happening I can write some text to go with the image and I can generate a report in word format which which is easy to understand for one and all so we find that Navisworks can be used very effectively to generate clashes and check our models for any such clashes. This goes a long way in helping us to reduce rework on site just because we have actually simulated our model and checked clashes before they actually happen on site. So I hope this has been an informative session today and in case you have any queries you can always contact us at obelisk.in this is our website we would be happy to assist you anytime thank you